Do you know how much voltage can a string solar system carry? The voltage of individual modules is not high, but it can be as high as 300 volts to 1500 volts when many modules are connected in series. In the event of a fire, such high DC voltage would be very dangerous for people nearby, especially for firefighters. That's the reason why we need rapid shutdown device. Hoi Miles Rapid Shutdown System can reduce the DC voltage of solar system quickly by disconnecting the AC power of the transmitter or activating an external initiator simply. It can realize module level shutdown. This makes sure firefighters are safe when putting out the fire. So how does it work? The rapid shutdown system in this video is composed of rapid shutdown device HRSD 2C and transmitter HTG20 kit. When the system is powered on, the transmitter sends heartbeat signal to rapid shutdown devices. Then PV modules in series start to output power to string inverter. Once the transmitter is disconnected or external initiator is activated, the transmitter stops sending the signal and would decrease the DC voltage of PV strings to a safe level within 30 seconds. This video will tell you how to install HRSD to C and HTG20 kit in your PV system to make your system rapid shutdown compliant. Please refer to the user manual for more information. Before we start, Make sure that the PV system is powered off, and please note that only trained and professional technicians are allowed to perform the installation. We will use DC cable, AC power cable, RS485 cable, M2.5 and M4 screwdrivers, M22 and M27 torque wrench, M6 screws, crimping tool, diagonal cutter, wire stripper, electric drill, multimeter, spirit level, HRSD to C and HDG20 kit. Now, we're ready to install HRSD to C. We can see that the connectors on the left and the right are outputs, and four connectors at the bottom are all inputs. First, install the HRSD to C on the frame of the PV module. With mounting brackets, you should allow a minimum of 1.5 cm of space between the roof and the rapid shutdown. To ensure ventilation and heat dissipation, then connect the rapid shutdown input with the module. Next, connect the output of two adjacent HRSDs together until all the devices are connected to each other. Now, all the HRSDs are connected, and we can start to install the transmitter. The HTG20 kit comes with a box, two keys, four mounting lugs, and oval head screws. Open the box with the key and check if any items are missing. There should be a quality certificated card, a quick installation guide a piece of rapid shutdown label, and one or two cores. Now, let's install the HTG20 kit. Firstly, fix the mounting lugs with oval head screws at the four corners of the box. Make sure that the mounting lugs are firmly fixed. Torque the screws to 2 newton meter. Next, Select a suitable installation for the enclosure based on its dimension. Mount the box on the wall with M6 screws. Firstly, we should install cores via the core cable gland. Unscrew the sealing nut on the core cable gland and remove the split type bushing and the hole plug in it. Ensure you face the core's right arrow side and pass the core cable through the nut the bushing, and the gland in succession. Connect the cable to the port. For a single core transmitter, connect the cable to the core 1 port. Insert the bushing back in place, and securely screw the nut. 2 to 3 newton meter. Secondly, we should install AC cables. Loosen the sealing nut on the AC power cable gland of the first HTG20 kit and remove the hole plug. 
Insert the AC power cable into the gland. Crimp the stripped AC power cable to the terminal block. Securely screw the nut, 5 to 6 newton meter. Next, pass either positive home run or negative home run through the core. Then connect to the inverter and connect the AC input of power supply to grid to complete the rapid shutdown installation. If you need to install multiple transmitters, you should also connect our S485 cables and AC power cables in order. Please use a separate circuit breaker or emergency stop switch as required by local codes and affix the rapid shutdown label to anywhere within one meter from the transmitter or the initiator. Now, we can measure the voltage of the PV system to check if the rapid shutdown system is installed securely. Since each HRSD to C output is about 1 volt when there is no heartbeat signal, the voltage of the series circuit at this point should be 1 volt multiplying the number of HRSD to C. Finally, before turning the transmitter on, make sure that the DC circuit has been connected with inverter properly. When the transmitter is energized, the power supply LED1 should be on and the signal LED2 should be flashing. In case of emergency, disconnect the AC power of the transmitter or activate an external initiator and the PV system would enter module level rapid shutdown mode. That's all for this episode. Thanks for joining us.